Hey, I just watched another video by Elliot Hulls and it was he made a, such a good point about sometimes when we lack motivation, we try to find that in a product or somewhere else, right? So how many of us, I can really relate to this, how many of us that say you're lacking motivation so you, you buy a book, right? Because it's easier to read a book than to do the actual work required to get the results that you want, right? Or how many of us, let's say, you're lacking motivation so you get a gym membership. Because you think, okay, if I'm going to put that money down, then I'm definitely going to be motivated to go, right? I have to go because I'm paying for it, right? I know someone, I'm not going to say who it is, but I know someone who... I'm not judging, but it's kind of funny. Like she paid for a year-long membership at a at a gym that is not very cheap, not very cheap at all. And she paid for one whole year. And I think she went four times, maybe five tops, right? I think it was over 500 bucks for that membership. And I don't know. It's it's. I think it's true, right? We buy a lot of supplements when we're not motivated enough to eat what we need to eat, right? I want a multivitamin so I don't have to eat more veggies and all this stuff. And, and I see that all the time. And I, I'm not trying to judge. I'm just trying to... I feel like when we're aware of those things, then we're like, oh, okay, let me take a step back and see why I'm doing this, right? I used to read a ton of books because I love learning and all of the stuff, but... It was, also, it was also keeping me from doing what I really wanted to do, right? Help people, make videos and posts on Facebook and stuff. And do you think maybe sometimes we use it as a distraction? And I don't know. I think if it works for you, if it gives you that motivation that you need to keep moving forward, then that's okay. I mean, who says what's right and what's wrong, right? But I think it's funny that sometimes we use it as a distraction when we don't want to do what we know we need to do or want to do or all the stuff. So it can just be a way of being a little more aware of what's going on. I feel like when you start to realize those things about our, our, ourselves, right? Doesn't mean that you have to turn into a detective and analyze every little thing you do or don't do because I did that and it sucks to become your own detective. Um, it, it's helpful, it's really helpful sometimes, but you can be very judgmental on it. I'll make more videos on that because that's a cool topic too. But, I just think being aware of that kind of stuff can be very, very beneficial and very good for you. So, it could be empowering if we don't go into that victim mindset of, yeah, but it could be empowering. So, I don't know, what do you think? I, I just, I hope that helps, let me know what you think. I just thought it was a cool way of looking at it. I, I don't know if I ever thought about it that way, but it makes a lot of sense and it kind of, I can definitely relate to that when looking back into my life. So um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And then we'll go back to enjoying this beautiful day. I just wanted to make that video so that I could share that with you. I thought it was cool. So oh, I'll put a link to his video down below and let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, please. That helps me a lot with the channel. I want to grow the channel and be able to reach more people and yeah subscribe if you're new if you're new to the tribe and let me know what else you would like to see videos about so hope you have a beautiful day thank you for watching appreciate it bye bye see you on the next one